students of class 5 welcome again in this video lecture series this is your math teacher and the host of this video Ajit Kaidar Samadhi welcome again now this is our second video of our video lecture series now yesterday we are getting the information about Roman numeral system that is we are getting the short information about the history of Roman numerals by the name of Roman numeral that is given there, we studied there. Thereafter, we continued seven basic signs that used it in Roman number system. The first one capital I, second one B, third one X, thereafter fourth one L, fifth one that is capital C, after that sixth one capital D, and seventh one capital M. Again, we respect we also studied about the respective international value of those seven basic signs there. Capital I that we use in Roman number system and international value one there. Thereafter, second basic sign that we use that is V, capital V, having international value five there. Thereafter, third basic sign that we use as a capital X having international value 10 there are the four basic sign that we use as a capital L having international value as 50 is there thereafter next number fifth basic sign that we use as a capital C there having international value 100 there are the six basic sign that we use as a capital D having international value as a 500 is there and the seven basic sign that is capital Yum that having international value 1000. Thereafter, we also studied in the last video the drawbacks of Roman number system. The first drawback, again, here I am saying we cannot write the digit 0 separate in this Roman number system. Second drawback, the bigger number like 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 digits easily in Roman number system. And thereafter, third main drawback. In Roman number, we cannot write the place value of the digit there. So, due to these three drawbacks, the Roman numbers that are used in less frequency there. Now, after this getting introduction of Roman numeral, this is our first lesson there. So, in first part, we continue the introduction of this Roman numerals here. Now, today, in second part, we are going to continue the rules for writing the Roman numbers here or Roman numerals here. So, if you want to convert any international number in Roman sign, first we have to follow some important rules. Now today, in the second part, we are dealing with first two rules that are used for writing Roman numerals here. So, here yeah, I am getting the heading as in this way rules for writing Roman numerals so here I am putting rule number one in in rule number one, the rule is stated in this way we can write the Roman numeral maximum three times continuous. We cannot write the Roman numeral more than three times continuous. So, let's keep in mind we have total seven basic Roman numerals that is, capital I, then V, then X, then L then C, then D, and then Y. These are seven basic Roman numerals that we use for writing Roman numbers there. Now, out of these seven basic signs, capital I, that we are making round, capital I, capital X, capital C, and capital Y. Out of these seven basic signs, I, X, C, and Y, these four numerals we can write three times continuously now the remaining three that is b l 
and D. These three Roman signs we can write maximum one time only. We cannot repeat it for two times, three times there. So, if you write capital I for three times continuously, it represents the international number three there. If you write capital X for three times maximum, X, 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 it represents international number 30. Thereafter, if you write capital C for three times in this way, C, 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 it represents international number as 300. And if you write Yum for three times. Yum, yum, yum. So this number represents international value as 3000. So in first rule we have stated capital R, X, C and Yum. These four basic signs we can write three times continuously. We cannot write these signs more than three times continuously. So, this is our first basic rule. Now, if we try to write V for two times, you think it will be right there. V, V. So many students say V, V means 10. 5 plus 5, we get 10 there. But according to this rule number 1, V as well as L as well as D, these three signs we cannot write two times continuously, three times continuously. V, L and D always written one time or only one time. That's the So, this is our first rule. Out of seven basic Roman numerals, capital R, X, C and Y, these four basic signs write three times maximum continuous. Thereafter, in opposite word, we also say Capital B, L, and D, these are never repeated. B, L, D never repeats. Keep in mind. After this rule number one, now we are dealing with our rule number two that given in this page. Now this is somewhat important to us. So by writing a Roman number in Roman system, the rule number 2 is important for us. Rule number 2 and its next subsequence, that is rule number 3, that are parallel each other. Exactly opposite each other, but parallel to you. Now, in Roman number 16, the rule for subtraction method is given. Now, rule for subtraction method, that is important here. Now, suppose the example before setting the rule. Here, I am taking one example in front of you. Suppose you want to write international number 4 in Roman sign. So, I am writing international number 4 into Roman sign. Now, we have seven basic signs that is I, V, X. Suppose I that is represented 1, V represented 5, X represented 10. Now, out of these three, or writing 4, we cannot use anyone here. Now some student says, for writing 4, we can write capital I 4 times here. If we write capital I 4 times, capital I, capital I, capital I, capital I. This is 4, some student says. But in previous rule, in rule number 1, we learned that capital I used the maximum 3 times continuously. We cannot use maximum, it's more than three times there. So, according to rule number one, this method is wrong here for writing four here. So, such number that is first example four, second example we stated as nine, then we proceed 49, which is there again. For writing such number, we are using the second rule for subtraction method. So, what is the rule that is stated at last? But before that, we continue some examples. How we can derive this rule? So, first example that here I am taking as per here. 
Now we want to write international number 4 into Roman sign. So by writing number 4 into Roman sign, we use the technique as 5 minus 1. Now in mathematical calculation, if we subtract 1 from 5, we always get answer as 4 there. So this subtraction method we are continuing. So by writing 5 minus 1, we know that 5 has basic sign as a V there. So first we write V and to represent subtraction process, the Roman sign for 1 that is capital I, it writes before V there. That means I V in this way we write number 4 there. Now if you compare between I and V these two basic sign capital I has smaller value and V has bigger value. Capital I means 1 and V means 5. So if you compare these two values V is bigger and I is smaller. So if you observe smaller numeral, smaller Roman numeral writes before bigger numeral. So when we write smaller Roman numeral before bigger numeral, it always shows the subtraction process. So in condition, we subtract capital I that means 1 from V that means 5. So 5 minus 1 we get Roman number at 4. Now, second example for this rule that we can read is as international number 9. Now, in international number 9, its method is given in this way. International number 9, we have to make in this way 10 minus 1. As per mathematical calculation, 10 minus 1, we get 9 there. Now, 10 minus 1, we have to represent in Roman sign there. So 10, so next here I am writing in this way, L, 50, C, 100, D, 500, M, 1000. Now, in 10 minus 1, let's move towards second example. For 10, we have X there and to represent minus 1, capital I, we write before X there. So, R, X. In this way, we get international number 9 in Roman number 16 there. Let's proceed towards third example of this rule. The third example in this way, that is Roman number, international number 40. Now, we have to convert 40 into Roman sign. So, its method given in this way, 50 minus 10. Mathematical calculation, if you think, if we subtract 10 from 50, we get 40 there. Now, for 50, we have L there. So, this L we write here and for 10, we have X there. So, we, so to represent minus, that means subtraction process, X we write before L. So, 40, this international number, write in Roman sign as X, L in this way. Thereafter, next example number 4, that is num international number 90. Now, we want to convert 90 into Roman number 16. So, the method given in this way, 100 minus 10. That means, if we subtract 10 from 100, we got number 90 there. Now, if you think about 7 basic sign, 100 has Roman sign C. So, we write C first here and for 10, we have X there. So, we, to represent subtraction process minus sign, we write X before C. So, XC in this way, we write number 90. Thereafter, next example, that is number 5, international number 400, we want to write. So, by writing international number 400 into Roman numerals, the method given in this way, 500 minus 100. That means, if we subtract 100 from 500, 
we get mathematical calculation as 100 here. So 400. Now, this subtraction process we represent in Roman number system. So here for 500, we have basic sign as D. So we write D here and 100 has basic sign here C. So we write C before D. So Roman uh, international number 400, we write in Roman sign as C D. Now parallel of this, the sixth example also there that is somewhat different for us. International number 900, we want to write here in Roman number 16. So while writing international number 900 in Roman number 16, we make subtraction in this way 1000 minus 100. That means if we subtract 100 from 1000, we get 900 here. Now let's think about this subtraction process. For 1000, we have basic sign as yum there. So first we write yum. Thereafter, for 100, we have the basic sign as capital C there. Now, to continue subtraction process, capital C, we write before yum. In this way, we get C yum. This number represents international number as 900. So, in this way, in rule number 2, we are making statement in this way. In rule number 2, we say, if we write, if we write smaller numeral before bigger numeral, it shows the subtraction process. So, if we observe all these examples, capital I, capital X, and capital C, these three basic signs we write previously here. So, out of seven basic signs, capital I, X, and C, only these three signs we can write previously. Now, capital V, L, D, we cannot write previously. Keep in mind. So, this is our rule number 2. By using rule number 2, we derive international number 4, 9, 40, 90, 400, 900 in Roman number 16. 4, we can write as I, D, 9, we can write IX, 40, we can write as XL, 90, we can write as XC, 400, we can write as CD, and 900, we can write as CM in Roman number 16. So, this is your rule number 2. So, in this second part, second video, we are getting information about rule number 1 and rule number 2. So, in your textbook, let's open your textbook and on your first page, these rules are given in a short manner. All examples are given on that page. Observe those examples carefully, read out all the information carefully and let's understand. Okay, now the next remaining rules we can use into the next video that means in the next part. So till we have to stop here, have a nice day.